Yeah, and this is George with quinoa, of course. And lots of different types of potatoes here. Are part of the candidates. Publicity. Oh, for Sunday. Yeah, but some of them are from previous elections. Okay. <laughs> so the candidates supposed to, you know, you ready? Yeah, the, today is Wednesday. On Sunday we'll have the elections. Yeah, very soon. Half for the next oh, Wednesday. Well, oh, Thursday. A few days. It's very slow. Oh, look at that view there, mm. Richard. Yeah, yeah I'm looking there. That, that is the place here. Uh, Pitusirai. The other one is Aiguasirai. You can see two actually two glaciers. They are uh, over 5,000 meters. Wow. On the sea level. See the they are of the second kind of the Incas. Oh, the, be yeah. the beginning of this beautiful day. Put the stuff in that point that I told you that is called Tarai. And on the Inca days, this river was called Wilcamayu in Quechua. Yeah. That means sacred. River. Right, so the valley actually starts up there, where, where the two... Yeah, yeah, the river is continuing, coming around. And we see the uh, glaciers at the top. Yeah. Are the glaciers from Chile? Of course. All of them. No, yes, in Peru. In all the world. So the, 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 the water is a very holy element. Yeah. That's why the valley is sacred, because we have water, we have glaciers, we have rivers, we yeah. have springs. It looks very fertile. Glaciers. That goes in the river. Yeah. The glaciers. 400. No, 4,000 miles yeah. all the that way. That's why the Amazon River is the longest one in the world. Today. This is the tributary of the Amazon. Uh, so, do you want to take a picture together? Good picture. Oh, that'd be good idea. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. It's BT. Uh, one million of terraces for the Inca days. So, you know, they were farming terraces. Those terraces, micro altitudes too. Yeah. That's why the Incas were possible to cultivate. Recreate the Inca life, how was on the 15th century, animals, people. It, it is just maybe 40% from the complete Inca village. So, when you explore the area in the backside of this mountain, you can see the 60% of this area. So this is the ancient Inca burial site, which was the back of the condor, and up here is the head of the condor. Scientists came to Peru from different countries right. trying to look for a medicine, a cure for this yeah. mouse, to kill you know, this mouse or this lichen too. You know. But they couldn't find the solution actually. You know. yeah. But it's affected by the story. Has it? Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit. So they, they, these protuberances are going to get a shadow in this way. Yeah. Some of them are going to be a Everybody knows him. Yeah. He's famous. Yeah. <laughs> he is famous. <laughs> That's it. So we don't know why he's famous. <laughs> <laughs> Should I know? Do we want to know? Is it better if I don't know? Yes. Is it better if Up there is a granary. Okay. Beautiful granaries. And up there is the old town. The old houses. <laughs> Cathedral, we saw the Lady Mary's shape as triangles. Yes. They are symbolizing the holy mountains in the Inca state. You know. That's why the mountains will have a very important value on the Inca religion. Sacred mountains, holy mountains. Yeah. So we, we, noticed, we noticed here that the Incas have a really good, uh, let's say, uh, Most 
famous buildings from Peru. In Tiwanaku you find the same style buildings, massive stones, very similar. But this temple was built by Tiwanaku speaker. Doing what? Putting your stick on an ancient Really? Oh, heck. So, put the stuff in different points to take pictures, to see the, la the landslide, yeah, the landslide, you know. maybe ones for sometimes horticulture, baseball, you know. Yes, because the people here in in that is are very wise. They have the yeah. potatoes, so the potatoes are gonna be dehydrated and dried, and they they are gonna store these potatoes in their houses for many years. So, for many years. Right. So because the potatoes dehydrate and dry, you know. So if they're really dry, yeah. they will keep. For These a people long don't need coolers, don't need refrigerators to keep the crops uh -huh. because they're all they are already dehydrated during the during the night, night. day and night, day and night, you know, during three weeks, approx. Three weeks drying in the sun. Yeah, sun and night. American. South American camelids. Yeah. Because they are family from the Asian camels yeah. and dromelids too. So. Maybe, like people, those animals migrate to America from Asia. Yeah, I think so, you know, yeah. Crossing the Bering Path, you know, you have a video years ago, right? The early camels established on North America, in Alaska. Right. From North America, they migrate to okay. South because America. Because if you see yeah. the Vicunas, have just wool on the neck. Yeah. That's all. This uh, these animals have wool Much on the body. Much shorter yeah. fleece. How, um, what time of year do they shear them? September, springtime. Okay. For use of this animal is 366 years, 60 days. 360 days. Oh, a whole year? Yeah, a whole year. Really? All of them. And then the babies are very independent. The, uh, I guess the babies are breastfeeding like six weeks from the mother. You know, they are independent. Uh, actually, uh, you will go to Arequipa. So, in Arequipa, you will go to see the whole oh, yeah. Right. Different spots, brown, white, sometimes black too. So many difference between llamas and alpacas. But they're also the same family, camels. These are the alpacas. Uh, this is the vicuna, which is the rare species that's sheared every two years. It is a, a moss, the Spanish moss, to get this beautiful color. So really, we okay. have the Inca priests. You call them shamans. Yes. But the correct name for them are Inca priests. Yeah. In this case, the Inca priests are sacrificing a llama or maybe an alpaca, that you see there. Yeah. After that, they are starting to gather the animal. And the Inca king is up there. He's observing all the ceremonies. Yeah. Maybe today we're going to have the Inca kings, but we have today the governors. Mm. No, so they go with the local people. Buenos días. Buenos días, how are you? How are you? Buenos días, how are you? Sure, you know. When, when I, I guess when they are like 14 years old, they are Kiwicha, like Amaranto. That's what we see Kiwicha. Well, we have this under Kiwicha. <laughs> uh, the, these are the dried potatoes, are two different types. <laughs> with George. Uh, just a minute. Hello, George. <laughs> With George, place, of course. 